as we as most people probably know, I mean the, the sort of the challenges of and sort of the the, the context uh, that that, we, that most programmers are thrown into today are, are is very different compared to like ten years ago. So so now we have multi-core architectures. Now we have cloud computing. Um, and sort of uh, architectures that we should de de deploy our applications in where mobile devices and we have and we have also users that have I mean much more picky nowadays I mean they have they have very big uh, sort of demands and expectations on the applications they need to be real time they need to be sort of extremely interactive collaborative and all that and all that I think requires a fundamentally different way of thinking different compared to how we at least the Java enterprise and the and the, and the and the .NET community have sort of historically been been dealing with things. I mean, I think we need we need basically to do four things. And that's we need to re write systems that react to events. It means that they need to be event driven. They need to be re react to load. It means that they need to be scalable, not just scale up but also scale out. We need to write systems that are are, are, are like designed to deal with failure. We need to react to failure. It means that they need to be resilient. And the third, th the, the, the the fourth thing that we need to really cut across all of these traits is that you need to be responsive on all layers, I mean, both in terms of UI as well as like services that, that uses our service, the same as how, how, the, how the data is managed, etc. So, 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 the, so when you write systems that, that sort, of income, sort of brings these four key traits together, I mean, I mean event-driven, scalable, responsive and, 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 and resilient, then you write systems that, are, that we call reactive or reactive applications. Relying on a fully event-driven core, and event-driven core means that, that your system is not is non-blocking, and it's it's fully asyn asynchronous. It means that you should utilize the hardware in a very efficient efficient manner. It also means that if, if your system is event-driven, then 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 it's usually very loosely coupled, and you can more easily scale out things. I mean, look, live up to the promise of cloud computing with the elasticity, and it also makes it makes it easier to write fully fully. Fault tolerance systems, right? Because you have since since since, since your system, since your your runtime components are actually fully decoupled, that means that you can have certain components watching other components, and they and you avoid these things like we see way too much in enterprise development of cascading failures, like one service taking down the next one, one whole machine taking down the next machine, etc. Instead of sh instead use you know, like a share nothing architecture where failure can be isolated and managed. One of the challenges we see is, is, is in terms of edu education. Most people are, are, are used to writing full, fully, fully synchronous systems, and 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 programming sort of without a call stack, right? They just you, you send something and then and then it immediately returns, and then something happens later. You might later get get, get a response, but you can't like rely on like this classic requ request response. And we, like, and you, then you know that if you ask ask a question, you will get a response immediately. That, that can sometimes be a little bit like bump to get, to get over. But normally we see that if if people just just push through the first sort of hurdles with that, then then it actually makes things easier because it gives it makes make things very very clean. And 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 events is also part of the part of the workflow. I mean that's what we see in the D, in the DDD community, for example. We talk about domain events and talk about events that have very high semantic value. And 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 if that is the way you, sort of you you design your application and actually deal with the concurrency problem instead of using like locks and and, and threads, or deal with the sort of scalability problem instead of using like like RPC kind of kind of tools, etc. I think the system actually becomes more easy to reason about and understand as well.